Since early Saturday morning, Cornell engineering and business students, as well as high school students, were invited to participate in the first Life Changing Labs Makeathon. It's an opportunity to meet cool people, build amazing things, um, and have your life changed. Uh, build something life changing that can affect solve problems that other people are having, but also, again, uh, the idea is that this, this will start many things that will continue. With the help from the Life Changing Labs organization, as well as Cornell University professors, teams work together to build their prototypes. We invited students from all different majors. We had biomedical PhD students working next to freshman CS students, working next to prospective students at Cornell, high school students who are coming in and um, building things. Now, students behind me are working on their proposals to produce life-changing solutions to today's technologies. All of the work will be done in this room where it is an open, collaborative environment. I mean, obviously right now we're making pretty good progress, but I guess I want to see how it, how it ends up if we all stick around um, and just see how, the, how it turns out. If I enjoyed it, I'll definitely be coming back next year. Aaron Wisner of Cornell University is one of the engineering students working on his prototype. There's a little keychain for RFID you can put on your keys, and when you're walking out the door, it'll automatically scan um, all, all the RFID tags and see if you're missing anything important and let you know before you leave. The life-changing labs are looking forward to coming back to Cornell University next year. Reporting in Ithaca, New York, I'm Christy Calcagno.